Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. It is December, it's snowing, so it must be time for another unboxing. We've done an unboxing already this month, but we're right now doing another unboxing. This is basically my big haul of beers for uh, December. Um, I sort of quite decided whether I was gonna do it, get an advent calendar, uh, but I just felt that, you know, you were paying a bit of a lucky dip in terms of some of the beers you, you got. And then I think with an advent calendar, I'd need to be recording a, a video every single day. And that's not always that practical. So instead, what I did is I went to my, this is the my sort of go-to um, uh, bottle shop. They're called Craft Metropolis. They're based down in London. They've got a tap room as well, based down in South London. Um, but they do really good beers. They do, and they're a pretty good price. And they also do have a point scheme as well. Um, so obviously the more you beers, you're going to collect points and then redeem them again to take those points off your next order. Um, and I've got a promotion code for 10% off your first order. And that promotion code, I'll put it down in the comments, but it's 10 November December FB. So if you put that code in, if you go to craftmetropolis.co.uk, uh, um, order some beers from there. And then from there, obviously, you can... Um, you get 10% off your order. Um, it's a really great box shop. They do lots of really good beers. And obviously the beers that I've got here, you'll be able to do as well. So without further ado, let's get this box open because we've got some real, quite interesting beers. I'm going to open this box, go through the beers we've got. And then I'm also going to explain some of the things that, you know, we've got planned. I mean, it's December, it's Christmas, you know. We've, we've got to sort of do some, um, some, some new stuff. I want to, you know, get some creativity going on the, on the channel. Um, so as part of that, obviously we're going to be drinking some, some, some great beers. We've got some great beers from Poland, uh, from the, um, God, I'll make it right. Uh, we've got some great beers from Poland, from Beer 52. And we've got some great beers in here that I'm really looking forward to. Um, it looks like it's got some quite interesting bits of packing going on here. Right, we'll get rid of all this packaging first and then we'll unleash the beers. There's some interesting ones in here, um, and I'm going to start with this one. So, beer number one is by Vault City Brewery, now Scottish brewery. It's in a sort of interesting sized bottle. So this is a 375 um, bottle, so a bit bigger. It feels really heavy. I don't know what they, what what's in it. Um, this is an ape apple maple pecan, and it's a modern sour beer. It's 8.5 percent. Let's have a quick look at that. See. Um, now, Vault City can do some re do some really great things with their sour beers, but I thought because it's very sort of, you know, it's autumny, it's Christmassy, you know, it's wintry, an apple, maple, pecan. I'm looking forward to this one because it's quite different. So um, we'll definitely be reviewing that on the channel. As I say, there's quite a lot of beers I've got here. Some of them I will would be, you know, the majority I probably will review on the channel, but some of them I probably won't. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. If there's any on here that you say, Rock, I really want to know what that beer is like, because I'll be thinking about buying it myself. Um, can you do a review? Then if, if you let me know, you know, give me plenty of warning, then I'll, I'll do a review for it. You know, I'm here for you guys, you know, and I want to do reviews that you guys want to listen, want to, want to, um, want to see. So I'm just going to take these up at random. So things like, so polys. I mean, I've done a lot of polys on the channel recently, so probably these are less likely to be ones that are reviewed. This is a fairly new one called Pines. Um, it's an IPA coming at 6.4%. It's got a huge Citra, Enigma, Galaxy, Mosaic, Simcoe. It's got a horde of hops in there. Um, so that one looks like a good one, but mm, you know, unless you really want to review it, want it on the channel, we'll probably won't be reviewing it. Um, okay, let's just take these. I'll take this one because it's, it's massive. All right, so this one, this is a, a Christmassy one. It's called Christmas Cream. It's a nitro porter. It's coming in at 4.7%. It, it looks like it's in a, it says a 440 mil can, but that's a 440 mil can, but that looks a much bigger. So um, I think that's probably because of the nitro element in it. That's why that can looks bigger, but it's got the same actual volume of beer in it than the, the others have. Um, so this is obviously a Christmassy flavored beer. Christmassy, it's probably got, you know, chocolate in there. Um, all the different stuff. So this one probably will get reviewed on the channel because it's obviously a very Christmassy themed um, beer. Okay, there's lots to get through here, so I'm gonna race through a few of these. Okay, so we only one for Daya. Uh, we've only had one this last month from Daya. It's another one. This is a, uh, an Atlas IPA. It's a brand new one and a nice big 500 mil can. It's an IPA coming at 6.5%. 
Uh, okay, so this was a different brewery that we've had. This is Phantom Brewery. This is a, a brand new release called Ball Pit, and it's a New England IPA. Um, you know, there's a few New England IPAs near, and I know that I do drink quite a lot of those, so, you know, probably won't be reviewing all the New England IPAs that I may have bought this month. Uh, so we've got another Polly's here. This is a nice and bright can called El Dorado. Uh, this is the uh, Deluxe Edition El Dorado. Um, this is a, an IPA as well, coming at 7%, and it's obviously a single hop, so it's just El Dorado uh, hop. Next one. Okay, so this one's from the North Brewing Company. This one's a new, brand new as well. This is a New Zealand IPA called Somehow Lose Glass. It's 7%. Um, it's got uh, Moteca and Simcoe in it. Um, but again, this is a very, this is a New Zealand, obviously New Zealand, Moteca is a New Zealand hop. Um, so we've got that one as well, something a bit different. Okay, then we've got a few from this uh, brewery. This is called, these are Overtone. They're a Scottish brewery. Uh, this one is a Northern, let's get it right, it's a Northern Hemisphere New England IPA. So that's the Northern Hemisphere. Um, let's see if we've got, I'm sure we've got a few of those. So let's see if find the other. Yeah, and this uh, we've got. Yeah. So and we've also got a Southern Hemisphere um, New England IPA. Not quite sure the, the difference between that. This one's more, this is obviously tropical. This is Galaxy Citra, Topaz and Nelson Sylvain. Um, whereas the, uh, the the other one is Mosaic, Simcoe and Equinox. So again, a bit different, but I'm hearing, these are a brewery that I've heard lots of. And Craft Metropolis have got quite a lot of different ones by them. And then there's also a third one from Overtone. This is called Vicky's Pet Unicorn. It is another, um, yeah, this is an IPA as well. Vic's Secret Galaxy and Citra. Um, again, it's very, you know, another great, uh, a great New England IPA sort of style there. So there's quite, there's quite a few of those. Probably you may not review all of those. Okay, this one I've had my eye on for a while. This is by the BB, um, BBNO, is that how you, pr how you pronounce them? Um, this is a double dry hot Palau and it's 5.5%. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's uh, another brewery that I've heard lots of, but I haven't really drank them before. I just wanted to try that one. So something a bit lighter. Um, talking of something that's light, this one certainly isn't. This is called Impeach and Don't Bleach It. It's a 5.1% and it's a um, it's basically a peach sour. Uh, I think it's a peach sour. It doesn't even say what it is. Uh. Yeah, and this is by the uh, the staggering, uh, s staggeringly good um, brewery. Um, again, you know, this is uh, another one that's going to be quite different. So that's a that's like a smoothie, and I a peach smoothie, I think you would call that. Right, this is another. This is one of the sort of very Christmassy one. This is by a, a Munson. Uh, it's in a small can. Be warned that this can, if you want to buy it, it was about eight quid. It's quite expensive, but it's a salted caramel chop chip cookie stout, uh, and that's cut. This is coming in around about what is this coming in at? Ten point five percent. So it's another chocolatey stout. But I thought, yep, that's very Christmassy. So there's that one there. Next one, yeah, this is another one. Uh, this is a sour pod imperial triple fruited ghost. Um, and this one has got blackberries, black currants, and raspberries. It's also got ginger and coriander seeds. Got all the sort of stuff in it. But apparently, this is very a very gloopy looking uh, beer. So this is a, this is a sour pod, um, and uh, and obviously this is also by Staggering Good as well. So we've got a couple of those. Um, next beer. Okay, so there's Neon Raptor. Um, we had one of those last month. This one is called Saturday's Nights All Right. And this is a strawberry lemonade IPA. I thought it was a bit of fun. You know, something a bit different. It's got obviously got st extra strawberry uh, and, and lemonade. But we've had some IPA sodas before um, that have been quite good. So I thought, give it a try a bit. Something a bit lighter, you know, from a lot of these sort of more sort of darker stuff. Now this one, I think, is a bonus because I don't remember ordering this one. <laughs> this one's called uh, Barrack Oclava. It's a pistachio and walnut back baklava, which, you know, is like a sort of, um, you know, like a sort of pastry, a Russian pastry, imperial milk stout, coming in at 9.5%. This was a bonus. I remember when I ordered, they said, if you if you put a code in, then you can get a bonus beer. And I, I didn't really think much of it at the time, but that is a bonus beer, 9.5%. 
that's pretty damn good. Right then, what else have we got in here? Okay, so Lost Pier, this is a small can, but it is called a Skinny Dipper. Um, so it's a double IPA, um, a skinny version of it, so 7.5%. Um, yeah, I had a Lost Pier and I really enjoyed the Lost Pier, the New England IPA they had, so I thought, let's buy something else from them, see what they're like. Okay, let's hope that we've got all the bits in here. Yes, yeah, so this, and then this last one is from S43, it's a Taco Cat. This is one with, it's a Kyvek IPA, so I like uh, Kyvek yeast. I've had a few good beers with that in there, and I thought, yep, yeah, try these, because S43 is one of those breweries that, again, I've heard lots of, and I just never got around to getting it, so I thought, yep, yeah, let's get it. So there's, that's the beer haul. As I said, we won't be reviewing um, all of these on the channel. I'm gonna move that out of so you can actually see my face. Uh, we won't be reviewing all of these on the channel, um, but we will be reviewing the majority of them. And certainly the more Christmassy ones like the chocolate, the chocolatey stout, uh, the Christmas cream, um, and certainly the apple maple peak, and they'll definitely be, um, be um, reviewed on the channel. So what else have we got planned for December? Right, okay, so we're gonna do some face off. So we're gonna sort of take some, some similar sort of beers um, and we're gonna see which one's better out of the two. I'm not gonna to give too much away of what that is yet, um, but we're gonna do some a couple of face-offs uh, this month. And also, first for the channel, we're gonna be doing, um, it's just a one, I'm just gonna do one video. I'm not gonna make a, a, a thing of it. There are a lot of YouTubers that do beer reviews and now they're starting to branch out and doing food and stuff like that. Um, as much as I would like to do that, I think it's just gonna be, you know, I haven't even worked out, I'm gonna film it all yet, but I'm gonna do a rock related food review. It's gonna be quite unique. No one else has done this because this is a food that is a favourite sandwich of a very famous rock star. And I'm going to make it for you on this channel. Um, and I hope that you can go away and enjoy it as well. It's one of my favourites out there. Anyone that knows me may have an inkling of what it is. But if you don't, or if you do know me and you don't know what it is, that's going to be an exclusive on this channel. So we've got that in December. And then finally, rock. Okay, so I thought that this month we would have a theme in terms of the sort of rock that we're going to do on the channel. And the theme is, you know, Grunge, grunge music, bands from Seattle. Uh, not just sort of, but bands from Seattle, but the whole sort of grunge scene. You know, cause what says Christmas more than grunge music? I know. Uh, so we're going to be doing things like uh, we're going to be ranking some albums by Pearl, the, the, all the albums by Pearl Jam. You know, one of the one of the biggest grunge bands. I'm going to also be doing a couple of rock reviews of some grunge uh, albums that were that were out in that sort of era that um, some you may know and some you may not may not know, but some some of my favourites in the sort of grunge theme. And then as a round off, I'm going to probably do a a ten the ten essential albums if you're into grunge music. So there'll be something there for everyone. Obviously, if you're not into the music, you know, then you don't have to watch those videos. There's going to be plenty of videos on this uh, this month. I really want to sort of, we're, I'm, I think we're about 190 uh, subscribers at the moment. My aim is that by the end of the year, we'll hit the 200 mark. So if you're not a subscriber already, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. You won't miss any of those videos, whether you're into music, whether you're into beer. You're not going to miss any of those videos. You'll get notified um, when those videos are released. So if you're not a subscriber, please think about subscribing. Hope you like this unboxing. Boxing. It's an interesting selection of beer. There is a lot of beer to get through. I'll also be doing actually what the other thing is I've forgotten to mention. I'm going to do a essential guide to buying beer for Christmas. So if you're into craft beer um, and you've got, you know, you've managed to work out how the free household bubble is going to work over Christmas, you've got people coming over. What is the best beer to buy for those people? And yourself, of course, you've got to enjoy it yourself. So until the next one, you know what we're going to do. Keep on rocking.